Welcome back to P10 Talks. In this video, we're going to be talking about the best way to get into the Apple ecosystem, the best budget Apple ecosystem. Now, just to for, just a disclaimer that this is all done in America. I'm doing this all in American dollars, and this will not apply to you. So the prices may vary for you in what country you're in. Now, let's go. All right. So we're on Apple's website, Apple.com. We're in the iPhone section because you can probably guess what device we're going to be getting first: iPhone. So we're going to be getting, first thing you need to do, is you need to have an iPhone, like to revolve around something for on the go, something to access cellul cellular connection, all that stuff. So we're going to start out with Apple's best budget iPhone, iPhone SE. Can't see that probably. So quick buy. I'm going to add this all to cart. I don't need any of this stuff because I have all of it except for one thing. But... We'll just add it all anyway. I'm sure my phone's better than the phone I'm buying anyway, but that's fine. But we'll just add it all to cart anyway. Um, product red, that's just because 64, that's that's good because it's just the phone. It's probably good. You don't need that much storage. I've got 256. I don't need it. It's just there. Uh, carrier, SIM free, unlocked. No phone to trade in because we're just starting out from the beginning. No one-time payment. I want it fair on my thing. No Apple Care, no Apple Care, add to bag. $399 without taxes. Now I'm gonna go, I don't want any essentials. Now let's go add more things. Okay, now that we're through that step, sorry. I will review the bag and go through all this stuff at the end. Apple Watch. Now we got a couple three mod three different models of Apple Watch. Apple Watch Series 6. Get that out of here! We don't need that. Too expensive for this video. Apple Watch Series 3. Too cheap for this video. Can you guess where I'm going with this? You should be able to. Apple Watch SE, it's the one in the middle, best price. Let's go to that. There's the app, there's the animation, I'll let you watch that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so Apple Watch SE starting at 279 Pretty good. Now what I want is I'm not going to pick out one that I'd get because I don't need an Apple Watch right now. I already have one, but I'm going to pick like just a specific, not cheapest budget model. So we'll just go with this one. It's an aluminum one with a sport band, 40 millimeter, just GPS connection. I don't think... Cellular is good. 44 if you have a bigger wrist, but that's going to put you over the price over the price tag. What we're trying to do, we're trying to shoot for under under $1,500 because that's what it costs to get you like a MacBook Pro or something like that. Around $1,500. We'll check that after when we're looking at. I think so. We're trying to get, we're trying to get under $1,500. So let's go. Yeah, that works. That works. Pretty basic. Oops, actually, I don't want to do that. Oops. So the Apple Watch we're getting. 40 millimeter GPS connection. Yeah, that's it. GPS connection. And we don't have a trading because we're starting off from the beginning. And we're adding it to bag and we're good. So we got two things in our bag. Next we need a pair of headphones. So we're gonna go to music. And we got a couple choices. We have uh, AirPods, AirPods Pro, AirPods Max. And Beats. We're going to be going for regular AirPods 2. Uh, yeah, AirPods 2. Um, so shop AirPods with wireless charging case. I'm going to say it's $199. Without wireless charging case, it's $159. I'm going to say that you should buy it for $199. It's the, I'm going to say it's the best value because you get wireless charging built in. You're future proofed. So I got that. That's going to add that to our bag. We're just going to Put our price back up. Okay, so we got our AirPods. We have our AirPods. So we need one more thing we need, which will be an iPad. Uh, so, well, it's a computer, as I say, but we're going to use an iPad because it's going to be the cheapest way to save money on this. Because Macs are, MacBooks are expensive. So, I'll just go here to MacBook to show you the cheapest MacBook Air with the M1 without education and discount is going to cost you a grand total of $999. The MacBook Pro, which is what MacBook Pro 13 inch buy is going to cost us a grand total of $1,299. This is going to be very close to our price of all these items compared for one MacBook, right? So that's why we're not getting a MacBook. So we're going to go back 
We're going to go to iPad, because that's what we're doing. We're going for iPad. A couple choices, iPad Pro, iPad Air, iPad, iPad Mini. Apple Pencil, except keyboards, accessory. We're going to be going to iPad Air, because it's the new full screen iPad for half the price of the iPad Pro, just so it doesn't have the crazy camera on the back. You don't really need that on an iPad. You don't need, I don't know why you need a camera that nuts on an iPad. So we're going to get Space Gray, 64 gigs. I'd say it's cheaper for you to like buy something else, maybe like a hard drive or something afterwards for the best budget. We're going to say Wi-Fi. We're going to say no engraving because that hurts your resale value once again. I'm going to click Add to Bag. And... Okay, we're going to review our bag. And we're going to see what our grand total is. We have one 10.9 inch iPad, Wi-Fi, 64 gigs. One AirPods with wireless charging case, $199. One, Apple Watch SE GPS 40mm Space Gray for $279 with Sport Band. One, iPhone SE 64GB product with $399. Bring us to a grand total of $1,476 before tax, which with tax will put us at about our $1,500 mark. And this is fully immersing yourself in the Apple ecosystem. So I'm just going to remove all this stuff from my bag. Actually, I'll just put it off the side. So there we go. That's how much it will cost us. $1,400 or I guess 1500 after we're all done. For the full ecosystem. Now, some people are going to already have most of this stuff. A lot of people are going to already have the things you need. Like or a phone or an Apple Watch. Or I've been most only beginning some of this to complete the ecosystem. But if you want to fully immerse yourself in the Apple ecosystem... It'll cost you $1,500. That's not that bad. That's pretty cheap. To be immersed in the Apple ecosystem, that's pretty cheap. So, that's the best way. Apple's got a lot of good things going for their budget lineups right now. And I think it's a great time to do it. So, that's about it for this video. I have a couple other videos coming up, as well as a really exciting computer video, which I'm not going to tell you about yet. I'm not going to spoil it. That's going to be coming up. I'll be starting making that this week, and it'll be out probably within the next two weeks. This video will be probably out the time of filming this in a couple couple days. So I'm really excited. i got some exciting stuff coming. As you can see, this is just a sneak peek into the Apple world. I've got a couple, one Apple review video coming out in a couple days. So we got a good video production schedule going. So please, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I hope to see you again on my channel next time. Bye.